Hey guys, so I came to Korea about 10 days ago. For the first seven days, I was staying at the government designated hotel quarantine facility, uh, which I was supposed to stay a total of 15 days, and it's about $110 a day. It works out to be something like $1,600 that I have to pay for. So I use my Samsung Pay, one of the only non rooted phones. That's why I brought this phone, which has Samsung Pay. So I paid it with Samsung Pay. Now, after seven days, my mom's health was getting worse and they were worried that I might get stuck in quarantine. So my dad moved me from the hotel quarantine to self quarantine at my parents' house. So I've been self quarantining for the last three days since I moved back from the government facility hotel. Now, here's a problem the government wanted to refund me. Uh, since I paid $1,600 and I wasn't staying the whole two weeks, they want to refund me for the half of my stay there. Now, the problem was I gave them my original credit card number using American Express, but when you use Samsung Pay, you know, Samsung Pay actually creates a digital number, a separate number that represents uh, your credit cards. So I had to figure out how to get that digital number and the Samsung Pay app doesn't tell you. And I figured it out and it was pretty easy. You just use an app. Let me go and show you. You're going to need two Android phones. So this is the one with my Samsung Pay on my Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I have a Pixel 4 XL running Dirty Unicorns ROM. Yay. You're going to want to go purchase the Pro Credit Card Reader NFC. This exact version. I actually have to buy a bunch of different apps before I finally find one that works. This one works. So go ahead and buy it. It's like 9 bucks. Alright. Go ahead and open this app. Alright. Make sure your NFC is on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Samsung phone and go ahead and find the card that you want to find the digital card number. And I'm going to go ahead and enable my Samsung card. All right. And simply put it there. And boom shakalaka. All right. Now you're going to have to actually uh, for security reasons, you're going to have to confirm the four consecutive what you're going to enter is the last four digits of the digital number because the samsung pay will give you the actual last four digits so go ahead and enter that and once it's entered it's going to give you uh the whole number and expiration date and if you tap on it it's also going to give you it's going to give you additional information but with that number and the expiration date that is your digital number of your samsung pay you're going to be able to get that refund back and I believe this is actually the same number. Uh, if you have a bunch of different American Express, it's going to actually use the same number. Or if you have a bunch of different Visa uh, from the same bank, it's going to use the same number. And that was pretty easy, right? I mean, next time you buy something with Samsung Pay and somehow you have to get the digital number to get a refund, you can use this method. It does cost money. I mean, it was either I find this number by paying the app $10 or I lose it out on like 800 bucks. So hopefully this video helps when you use Samsung Pay and you try to get a refund on a product or okay. something you bought. And yeah, hopefully it helps you. It helps you. I hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more cool tips. Have a great day. And as always, stay on Android.